I think I should be fine down this corner. So we're checking out uh, shapes.io for a little bit. This had music before, and now it doesn't have music. I don't know why. Do I have like, oh, you know what? I have computer sounds turned off. That helps. So this has like some good background music, but it might be a little loud. Let me turn it down a bit. Uh, general sound volume, music volume. Maybe 16%. So it's not like too intrusive. Sixteen's good. Yeah, I think it sounds alright. All right, let's uh, let's do this. So, Shapes.io. This is a game that's similar in concept to Factorio, but it's different. Uh, so, we've also played Manufactio, which is like Factorio Minecraft, and we've also played Satisfactory, which is like a 3D Factorio. So, this is a different take on it. Um, I've played like I think Steam said seven minutes of it. So basically there's like circles, circle shapes, there's square shapes, and like you have to extract those and send them into your hub. Your hub here says deliver 30 circles to unlock something. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot with this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I haven't explored any. Like I went through like seven minutes of the game, like I said, so that's about as much as I know. Um, I have some notifications to get through number seven with an 18 month reset. Welcome back. Number seven. Thank you for the 18 months, dude. And for that prime Louie with an 18 month resub as well. Thank you so much for the 18 months, dude. Uh, 18 months. Where's the time gone? I would like to introduce to the stream hypno junior Two, born aged 62 while making a cake, <laughs> loving the content. You may keep up the great work. And hashtag feed max. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the nice comment. Uh, Dr. Joni with the 500 bits. Thank you so much for the 500. And a Tubby Pure coming in with a 34 month prime resub. Thank you, Tubby Pure. All right. You never even heard of this game. I've never heard of this game until fairly recently. I think Azuma played this a little bit. And uh, he recommended it to me when he was asking about Manufactio. Man, I got like cap fur on the face. Um, anyway, so let's check it out. So there's a tutorial that says place an extractor on top of a circle shape to extract it. All right, so boom, done. Connect the extractor with conveyor belt to your hub. Tip, click and drag the belt with your mouse. Click, drag. Oh, look at the circles go. We're doing it. Okay, so this is not an idle game. Build more extractors and belts to finish the goal quicker. Tip, hold shift to place multiple extractors and use R to rotate them. So shift. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, look at this. All right, so one, two. So this one's going to go up here. Oh, that's not. I guess we do this 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 aha oh i'm like so right click to delete stuff and then you move your mouse to the edge of the screen to like uh pan you just unlock the cutter which cuts shapes in half from top to bottom regardless of its orientation be sure to get rid of the waste or otherwise, otherwise it'll clog and stall. For this purpose, I have given you the trash, which destroys everything you put into it. Okay. So now we're supposed to deliver 40 half circles. Um, so I think, I think I want to press R to rotate this. Then we can put a cutter here. And then it's talking about trash can, how we can delete half of it, but we can also do this and use both halves, right? We don't have to delete them, I think. Or does it only care about the ones? Oh, maybe this shape doesn't matter then. Cause yeah, this is only going up every so often. Aha. Okay. So we get rid of this and then we use a trash can. Right? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like we're doing that correctly. Um, 
This iron? So I need to get rid of like all of this stuff then because this isn't really doing anything for us. So we need a cutter here. Belt. Oh, too far. Is that working? Is that what we want? Yeah, that looks like that's working. So then we need a trash here so it doesn't clog up. And then we need another cutter here, trash here, belt here. All right. Cool, level two completed. This game, or this level gave you no reward, but the next one will. P.S. Better not destroy your existing factory. You'll need all those shapes later to unlock upgrades. Okay. All shapes you produce can be used to unlock upgrades. Don't destroy your old factories. The upgrades tab can be found in the top right corner of the screen. Oh, okay. So even though the hub required 30, I've given it 144, and then I can use those extra shapes for these upgrades. I get it. Okay, so now we need bottom half circles for another upgrade on the belts. Weird. Okay, okay. So I need to keep feeding in regular circles into this then, yeah? Which one was it for? this so this is i have 116 117 okay so yeah that is correct so we keep feeding in these different shapes and then that counts up some kind of a ticker for upgrades later i get it i get it you won't lie watching this kind of makes you want to play a little bit of satisfactory hey satisfactory was fun let's go and do that i guess why not uh, Death Viper with a 24 month race. Uh, welcome back. Thanks for the two years and for that prime, dude. After eight hours, you'll get sick of the music and put your own on? Probably. Happens with a lot of games. Okay, so tutorial. Now let's, like, whoop. now let's extract some rectangles. Build four extractors and connect them to the hub. P.S. Hold shift while dragging a belt to activate the belt planner. Well, I did that earlier and it didn't quite do what I wanted to, but... Uh, so we need four extractors on rectangles, right? And connect them to the hub. All right. I guess we'll do these. Oh, I'm, I can press shift to like do multiple and then belt. Oh, got a little crazy there. How do I like fix that? I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, you can just place a belt right on top of another belt and it overrides it. I get it. Okay. So there we go. We got four rectangles connected to the hub. We need 70 of these. So are our belts automatically upgraded by that thing? I don't have to go through and like manually upgrade the belts. I assume they are. Yeah, they just automatically, all of them are just now faster. That's cool. <clears throat> Level three. The multi-function multi -function balancer has been unlocked. It can be used to build bigger factories by splitting and merging items onto multiple belts. Oh, I see. Okay. So we have the little green things and the the squares. I'm actually confused with this. So we don't have to connect two different belts. And then it'll just do every other one under this one, I guess. So yeah, it looks like this is just a splitter then, yeah. Multifunctional balancer. Okay. 
Will this become a video? Well, I wasn't planning on it. I was just planning on streaming and checking this out. Maybe I'll do a full video on this at some point. This game is still in early access, so. As are a lot of these. So this wants us to deliver half, half squares, so half rectangles. I'm not, were these called rectangles or squares? I mean, obviously they're squares. So we want to do that. We want to split. Uh, how do I dick? How do I tell it like which way to split? Does it just automatically gonna do the way I want? So we want this side, and this one goes to garbage. Right? Yes, I did it. So that, this, trash, belt. Okay. It only splits up and down, I see. All right, so let's do this one. We'll split you. So the one coming out of this side is the one that I want. So I'm guessing what this is trying to tell me by using this thing down here, um, we don't have to use up all the faces of our hub, right? So we can have all this come into this merger thing and then they all go onto one belt essentially. So we can't do it here, that's a problem. Okay, let's get rid of this thing. I like how the items just back up on the belts too, that's kinda cool. So we'll try this. Maybe I will, uh... Oh, I didn't put a trash can on this guy. Not like this really helps us out too much, I guess. But we're playing with it, learning how things work. Yeah, we're gonna run out of inputs, right? Mm-hmm. The rotator has been unlocked. It rotates shapes clockwise by 90 degrees. Ah, so this is how we do it. Useful key bindings. This game has a lot of key bindings, which makes it easier to build big factories. Here are a few. But be sure to check out the key bindings. So control drag is to select an area. Shift, hold to place multiple of one building. We've figured that one out. Alt, invert orientation of placed belt. Oh, show key bindings. Upgrade statistics, close menu, toggle HUD, toggle FPS and debug info, switch, switch layers. Can you, wait, there's multiple layers? What is it? Now I gotta see what E does. What does it say? Oh. Um, extraction. Okay, so now we can extract uh, a little bit faster, I guess. 50% faster. So I'm pressing E and it's not doing anything, so I assume whatever that layers thing is is not something that we can do just yet. Did X recommend this? Uh, X did talk about this before, but I wasn't too interested. But then I got an email uh, from Keymailer giving me a key for this game. So I wanted to check it out. Uh, so this, I assume we can do that. And both of those will go onto this belt. Not like that really helps us too much, but. So then I guess we'd want to do something like this as well, yeah? And then disconnect this. And then we can do another one onto this belt, I guess. Like that? 
At some point, we're going to hit the limit of what these belts can do. But yeah, that opens up the ability for us to like have more squares available or more inputs available. Um, I feel like this one over here, we'd probably want to do the other side. There's probably way better ways of doing this, actually. You think the layers is for wires later? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, Solus with the 34 month resub. Welcome back, Solus. Noops. <laughs> cool. All right. So, what's our next thing that we're supposed to do? We need half circles, but we need the top half. So, we need to figure out how to rotate these guys. So, I assume we want to do this. Aha. So then we just press, was it control or shift? Maybe a shift like that. All right. Now the thing is I could keep expanding this, but it's talking about like, um, don't destroy your old factories because you're going to need the stuff that you're putting in there. So should I find like another circle and like start pumping those in from over here? I mean, I guess we could do that. I don't see a reason why not. It doesn't seem like it costs anything to build these kinds of things either. So I, I guess. So then we want to cut. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we can't, well, actually, I guess we can. If we belt these, we merge them, and then we put them through a cutter. Okay, hold on a second. I'm figuring this out. So I can do this, yeah? I assume you can do this. And then I'm going to want to put that out onto a belt like this. This is going to come out like this, and then we're going to merge those. He's doing it. All right, then we want to cut. Now, which which half are we getting? Okay, so that's that half, and then we want to rotate. That is correct. Then we want to rotate this one twice. Nope, not cut. By twice, I mean three times, obviously. Then we want to merge those again, like so. Oh, I'm, I'm in the middle of building something. The tunnel has been unlocked. You can now tunnel items below belts and buildings with it. Ah, okay. Well, anyway, so then we do this and then we get all the half circles. <laughs> this is probably like what you're supposed to do. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. We don't really need that. It seems like it's too much, actually, doesn't it? Seven tenths evil with a 30 month reset. Welcome back. Thank you for the 30 months, dude. Is this available on Android? I don't know. You can get it uh, through a web browser. You can do the demo. I don't know if you can do the full version in the web browser, but I'm not sure how much of what I'm playing right now is in the demo versus what I'm what isn't? You know what I mean? Juicy Red Eye with a nine month resub. Welcome back, Juicy Red Eye. Okay, so the next thing we need is we need quarter circles. You can't do the demo on the phone. Ah, okay. So I need this split like this. So half of them will come out here. Half of them will go here. Then this is going to go into a cutter. Does it always have to cut from this side? Okay. So let's do that, I guess. Do that. 
Uh, so we need this one. So I need to rotate this once. That's the wrong one. One rotation. Then we merge those together. And then we put those into here. Uh, this needs to be connected. I did it! Although we need a lot more than what I just did, but I did it! Jasper with a 39 month resub. Welcome back, Jasper. Thank you for the 39 months, dude. Ben says, Hypno, I feel like your Hermitcraft content has been at an extra high level lately. Really enjoy the collabs, especially. Awesome, dude. Thank you for the kind words. I am trying. I am trying a little bit. So I guess we can split this and then do another one of these on the other side. I think that'd be fair to do. So we split, we cut. And then we have what shapes? So that we need one rotation, one belt. We need a merger. And then I guess we just pump it in there. My cutter, my cutter is throttling the input on my circles. Yeah, I am noticing though. I mean, this is basically specifically for cutting them. Uh, I don't know if we need the half circles for anything in particular. But you are right. We do have a backup situation here. I suppose I could do like another cutting thing over here and then like merge it somehow. Or just bring another belt up into there. Let's do a splitter. We will move these out just a little bit so we got some room to work with. Cut. Rotate. Belt. Merge. Belt. Oh, this is wrong. I need to do another cut operation. Yeah, so we're doing the half circles. Then I rotate. Okay, yeah, I didn't look at this part right here. So it said something about copying and pasting, right? So I should be able to like press control, do this. How do I paste? Copy C. Not unlocked yet. Nice game. Night. Nice game. How do I un how do I undo that? Right, okay. <laughs> Oops, I'm pressing the wrong button. Alright, so we rotate once, we rotate three times, then we merge them. Belt. So now we have Whoa, I did a thing. The painter's been unlocked. Extract some color veins just as you do with shapes and combine them with the painter to color them. If you are colorblind, there is a colorblind mode in the settings. Angry Hobos, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Also, uh, Gypsy Irene, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, all right, so we have this. So we are at this point right now. So I need to do this afterwards. So I need a cutter. Then I need one rotation. Then I need a merger. Then I need one belt. Now I should be able to take this and put that in. Although, oops. There we go. But we don't really need those quarter circles anymore, so that was kind of pointless. By the time I built it all, it was already to go. Uh, Angry Hobos gifting five subs. Thanks, dude. That's very, very kind of you.
Oh, we're on a level three hype train. Let's go. Um, so I need a red painted circle. I didn't really pay attention. Oh, so this is dye. Oh, there's a paintbrush tool. I, yeah, I wasn't really paying attention. Interesting. Okay, I get it. I get it. So we input the circles and then we input the die and then, okay. I get it. So I feel like this that I did right here is too much. So I could probably get rid of this. I did one too many. Whoops. I can probably just do that. We can probably get rid of those circle extractors. And then like this other thing I just set up, we could probably get rid of. Yeah, I feel like we can. So at that point, then we can use this other path that I just did for red circles. So let's get rid of this. Oh, we need a painter. Then we need an extractor on the red. Whoops, that's going the wrong way. Like a soul. And then we just belt that in. That's actually kind of slow. Not really a fan of how slow that is. Mr. Hyena, thank you for the 100 bits. Okay, so we're good on... Oh, okay, so it looks like I can uh, split this a bit. We'll do that. I will do this. So we have two circles, so I should be able to put another paint. Oh, then I need to get this in there too. No, 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 this is fine. Because this belt will now be coming like that. So it's still getting its circles. We are still doing this. And then I need to get the red dye over there. Oh, that is the problem, isn't it? Um. If it wasn't for the red dye, we'd be fine. Can I, can I do a tunnel? Tunnel allows you to tunnel resources under buildings and belts. Range five tiles. Ah, right. Right, 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 right. So I need to split this. I don't know if this is gonna work the way I want this to work. Tunnel here, here. Okay, so I have the color right there, so I should be able to that. This is, I feel like this is so awful. Uh, then we need to merge. Feel like this is pretty awful. I mean, it's working. Don't worry, Hypno, this will all turn into spaghetti very soon. Yeah. This is kind of like the reason why I wanted to just test this out for a little bit. Like, I'm not fully committing to doing a full playthrough of this game. Okay, so we need... We need circles faster, it seems like. So I need another extractor. Uh, we need to merge those. And 
new upgrade is available. Let's go. What do we got? Extraction speed upgrade. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. A lot of stuff. Okay, now we're starting to back up on circles. I don't know if we need that other extractor now that we got the extraction speed upgrade. We might have been fine without the other circle extractor. It's backing up because you are not using the trash can. You don't have to use a trash can on this. This is a merger. Well, it's essentially a merger. Um, trying to think, I guess we could do another red circle thing over here. I can like tunnel some circles and then we can do another one of these guys. Is that wrong? No, that's right. Okay, so I need... The coloration has to come on from that side, right? So do I have to tunnel underneath this to put it? Okay. So we do this. Then we do... I guess I feel like there's probably a better way to do this whoops there's definitely a better way to do that and then we tunnel this under here okay into a painter I guess. And then this. Oh, that's awful. One of those doesn't need a tunnel. Yeah, the circles we could just go straight up, but the way that I placed it, I needed the tunnel there. So I guess we can fix that, yeah? Are we backing up on the red dye? I feel like we need more red dye input. Oh, that's still facing the wrong way. I thought I had to f I fixed it. All right, well, we're definitely doing a thing now. You were gone for about 20 minutes and surprised of the progress. I mean, this isn't like a super complicated game. Not yet anyway, I'm sure it gets more. At this point, I guess we don't really need this merger. All right, so we just need 40 more circles, red circles to go in, and then we unlock level eight. Uh, hello, Flying Burger. Don't worry, it'll get harder. Oh, I'm sure it will.
As an engineering student, you don't like the look of the bottom tunnels, but you're enjoying the stream. Uh, you don't like the look of the bottom tunnels because they're like not evenly spaced or because I should have done it in a different way or what? I have unlocked a variant of the rotator. It allows you to rotate shapes counterclockwise. To build it, select the rotator and press T to cycle through the variants. Aha. So that means this thing that I did right here, we can just replace that with one counterclockwise. Oops, T. Get rid of these. Get rid of that. Then we do that. And then we do that. Okay. Where else are we using the rotators like that? I think that was the only one. That might be the only one. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, HNM. So now I need to deliver the right hand half of a square. Colored blue. Where do we have blue dye? We need blue food coloring. Okay. So I guess we can just pump a whole bunch of it down this way. How does this work like with these center ones? I don't understand that. Oh, well, whatever. Um, So then we just need to take that down here. Nope, this is going the wrong way. Why does it keep changing its orientation on me? The heck? It's going the right way, then I start dragging and it changes its ori- Oh my goodness, I am about to freak out! Alright, let me just get the belts placed, I guess. So now we have blue dye here, so now I need to take these and put these into a painter. So I guess what we're going to do is I am going to change this merger. I'm going to pipe this into here. You know, I'm still trashing these. Hmm. Let's do this for now. I'll keep... I'll keep putting those into here, uh, but we're gonna like get rid of this and we're gonna rotate. I guess I can't see what that looks like until uh, I put a belt on there. Okay, so those are the wrong, are those wrong? I think those are wrong. Yeah, those are bottom, right? So I needed two of those. So that should be the same as this. So we need those. So this needs to come down and get merged. So 
And then we need to put those into a painter, probably multiple painters. So the blue dye we can move, this stuff we can still like rotate around in a different way. Let's do this. Get rid of this. We'll do that. We'll get rid of this. We'll do the painter here. So the color needs to come in from this side, which is fine. And then... That'll be fine. Then we'll do another painter next to it. I don't know like how you can do these because I have not done this before. Oh, you know what? I have that one upside down, don't I? This is, this is rolling. Is it wrong or is that right actually? No, that's right. Okay. So at this point we need to split the blue die. One of them's gonna go directly in, one of them is gonna go into this guy. So that takes care of that, and then this will take care of that. Now we gotta worry about getting these shapes in there, which I think is pretty straightforward. And then we need to merge the outputs going into here so we can get rid of this. I think that is all we need to do. And then obviously hook up the blue color, right? I think that should do it. Unless this is not hooked up correctly, which doesn't appear to be. Maybe I have to space this one and then put a belt at the end. Or is this, is this rotated wrong? I'm actually not sure. How are these other ones done? So the blue is the input, green is the output, and if the arrows face the way the items go. Okay, I think that was set up incorrectly over here. Oh, this one is set up incorrectly. I get it. Do I have to do them in pairs? Try that again. I, okay, I understand how this works now. There we go, figured it out finally. That took a little bit longer than it should have, but we got it figured out. Solus says, check out my new game, noobs.io. <laughs> and then Nighthawk said that I will be the only one playing that one. Wow, Nighthawk. Wow. Just wow. Um. So I think at this point, we can probably duplicate this, tunnel those over here, and then like continue doing exactly what we're doing.
So let's do that. So we'll extract some more of these guys. Do the old choppity chop. Actually, I guess we only need one of those being extracted, not two of those. Uh, so we need to do two rotations like this. Merge it and then like send it underneath, which this is kind of in the way, but we can move that belt. Yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. Do that for right now. Then we'll figure this all out here in a moment. Immortal coming in with a 52 month reset. Welcome back, Immortal. Thank you for the 52, dude. If you paint, then cut, you use half the paint. Oh, that's actually really smart. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, so I've been doing this backwards. So let's let's reevaluate and switch it up. So you paint them and then cut them. All right, let's try that. So I need the blue dye coming into here and then I need to tunnel it a little bit, kind of. Uh, Yes, I'll still need a tunnel. I don't think I can tunnel it like that, actually. Let's do that. So if I do this, that should work. And then if I do this, that should work. Then the blue dye just comes into here, which will feed both of these painters. And then the extractors are feeding that directly. Okay, let's change up this belt. So I will just put one of these guys right here for simplicity. We'll get rid of this. Can I, ah, uh, placing these belts is annoying. All right, so if we've done this correctly, we should have blue squares coming out, which it looks like we do. Awesome. Who did a thing? Emperor with 101 bits. Just rounding my bits for next badge in 15k. Thanks for the 101 bits, dude. All right. So we have blue squares and we want to cut. Uh, and which way we need this one. So we need to rotate, rotate. Then we need to merge. And then we can bring that down. Oh, that's wrong. How did I screw that up? I didn't put a cutting on this one. Okay, then we rotate, rotate, merge. Wait. What am I doing here? I am doing something. I'm merging these needlessly. Let's undo this. Okay, we cut, we cut. We rotate the top one twice. Then we merge. 
Then we merge. And then we bring those down. There. Got it. That's a little better. Hello, Fat Metal Jesus. You're so glad to finally be able to make another Hermit stream. Been missing them um, all as of late. It happens, dude. Glad to have you, though. We could have made that better by putting the cutters like one block closer, right? Well, that feels pretty good. I kind of feel like this stuff that we got going over here should be like re looked at. <laughs> so, this we can do the kind of same thing here. Oops. Rotate. Rotate. But honestly, that would be better if we did that somewhere else with our factory and then pipe the resulting item into one slot, right? So we're not using up so many slots on our hub because like right now we're basically maxed out. How close are we? Man, I would like to do another one of these to make this go faster, but I kind of feel like by the time we set up another one of these, <laughs> we'll already we'll already be where we need to be. Hmm. It's probably worth optimizing inputs when you need them instead of now with limited tech you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, a lot of this stuff, like, I'm sure it's not worth tearing it all down because we're not using it at this exact second. But, like, that is going towards this stuff, yeah? So I need to start putting in upside down circles for this. I think I need to start paying attention to these upgrades, right? So let's uh, start putting in some upside down circles, even though that's not what we need to deliver, but for upgrade's sake, yeah? So we're doing top half circles here and we're doing regular circles here, but I think I can probably do a thing. So we'll do that, we'll cut them. I don't know if that's actually gonna bottleneck us, that might. Anyway, so we need to rotate this once this way. Nope, that's, wait. Oh, rotate that, that way. And that, that way. Then we merge them. And then we do this. Yeah, it definitely looks like we are uh, limited by this cutter. Like this thing needs to be improved a little bit somehow, but we're getting the correct items in, which will allow us to uh, eventually get an upgrade. We get probably, whoop. Lovely unlocked. Uh, the mixer has been unlocked. It mixes two colors using additive blending. So red and green make yellow.
Yellow is a primary color. How does red and green make yellow? Are we supposed to look at this right here? So red circle plus green circle, yellow in the center. Red and blue makes purple. Then green plus blue makes light blue, I guess. At least, at least we have some idea. It's light blending, not paint blending. I'll RGB your face, digital dumber. Say, say RGB again. I'll RGB your face. I don't even know what that means, but I'll do it. <laughs> All right, it's on now. <laughs> Yeah, pigments and uh, light combining colors is like different and weird and I don't get it. Like HTML colors, yo, I don't see no hexadecimals all up in this. A new upgrade is available. Which one do we get? This one. Mixing and painting. Oh, does that mean that we are now painting 50% uh, faster? Are we using 50% more bullet because we fire the whole bullet? So this is going faster here? I guess. What are the different things before your name that you can have? I think you can have three icons if you're talking about on Twitch. Um, there's a sub icon. You can get a bit icon. There is a gift sub one. And then there's like special ones like mod or broadcaster. Um, oh, there's a few different ones. Yeah, I did notice that there was pins. I didn't I didn't click it, but I did see that there are the thumbtacks. I did see that. So that will show me somewhere. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see this one before. Mm. So how big is this world? Is it like forever? Press M to create a marker from the current view or right click to create a marker at the selected location. Hi, smiley. I did it. Look, hi. Is that like put a waypoint somewhere? No. Right side of the screen, you can warp. Oh, is that warp back to get to the hub? Oh, look at this. There's like, oh, there's a directional arrow. So can you put, let me try this. Oh, I didn't even see there was this over here. Nice. That's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. How many monitors do I have? I have three. Any idea when I'll be switching to Hermitcraft here? Pretty soon. Pretty soon. GG Hypno, you made a marker. Have a sticker. Thanks, SD. Thanks. Okay, are we close to anything here? Man, we need so many of these. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how we can make these stars. Is that is that like a thing that we can mine out? Oh, look at these things. So I assume we cut. There's probably going to be some kind of like a merge, right? Or I guess there's these directly. I didn't even know that. I didn't even see that before. So we should like start pumping those in. I think so. Uh, if we can get cutting speed and rotating speed, that'll be very helpful. So let's go do that. 
let's work on this. We'll start extracting a whole bunch of these. Merge them. Merge them. Yeah, that'll be good. Just start getting some of those going into our base a little bit. How are we going to bring them in? We need like an empty spot. I guess we can like get rid of this. We'll bring them in right there. That means we can get rid of that. Okay. So we still need to go up quite a bit higher. I don't know how much higher. We'll try right there. So a little bit higher. I guess we'll go up and then this way. So that should start ticking these up. Awesome. Yeah, I saw that the uh, this right here has an arrow. Yep, that was pointed out. Or I noticed that when it was pointed out that there was even this thing here. Hey, Star of the Dragon says, dang, I love this game. Hope you have fun with it. Hip no, so far, it's a lot of fun. A new upgrade's available. Let's go. Ah. So this will make our belts go faster, which means these will start being input faster. Nice. Yeah, once we unlock the upgrade for this, like a lot of this stuff will speed up because a lot of it's slowed down by the splitting. Oh, spacebar centers on the hub. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for the tip. These right here, we could be rotating I'd have to do two rotates, actually, I think. We could do the rotate right out of the gate, but trying to like merge them together, that's the problem. Yeah, I guess it's fine. We'll just leave that alone. So this is a compact merger is what we're gonna be unlocking. We haven't even started on that. Interesting. Do a lot of hermits play Hermitcraft on Bedrock, or is it Java only server? We only play Java. There's no Hermitcraft on Bedrock. The only Bedrock you'll see is like when some of the Hermits have a paid thing to show RTX. This is what I was waiting for when I went back there to look at this. I was like, well, our belts are sped up. Are our extractors keeping up with that? And yeah, this is kind of what I expected to see is that there's a little spot every now and then. Anyway, uh, let's upgrade our cutting. Our cutting and our rotating. So 
Sweet. Yeah, that's definitely going up a lot faster. Um, so what is another upgrade that we should work on? Oh, okay. So we're already there on this for cutting, rotating, and stacking. We need to get 1.2K more. Easy. Um, these are filling up. So we haven't touched any of this stuff. This is for mixing and painting. Then we're gonna need a lot of this for belts, distributor, and tunnels. Extraction, maybe this is the next one we should work on is getting some of these blue, or I guess teal. It's a real nice game, really relaxing. I think so as well. So I feel like I should do another one of these lines coming in, but specifically, um, maybe we'll do this. We'll get rid of this. So a trash can right there. We'll move this blue up one. We'll move this up one. And then we'll have another line coming in that does these painted. I think that makes sense. So let's get this belt figured out. So then these I want to move up by one. Yeah, I'll leave that belt there for now. So this needs to come over back down here to these stars. Uh, so we need teal. So I need a mix red and blue green. I guess I need to look at the mixer. So I need this color, yeah, so green and blue. So we have blue, we have green, so I can kind of like bring that over here and we can do the painting operation there. All right, let's get these extractors figured out. Merger. That's really weird, but that's fine. Doesn't really make any difference at all. Uh, so I'll bring another line up here. Then red and, no, blue and green. So we'll have to bring that and do the mixing right here. And then we can do the painting down here too. There's a big color. Oh, there is a color wheel on the toolbar. You're right. I did not see this. All right, so extracting on the green, extracting on the blue. Then we need a mixer. I wanna have plenty of space so we can like do extra painting here. That's so awful. <laughs> I gotta fix that. That's so awful. Better. <laughs> Just start drawing belts, have belts like that. That'll that'll get real real good real fast. Uh who did a thing? Feed the chunk, drop in ten dollars. Thank you, feed the chunk. Hope you're staying healthy these in these trying times. Stay safe and enjoy this saw buck. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the 10 spot. All right, uh, so we do... One of those. And that should get us the color that we look for. It's really slow, goodness. Maybe I want multiple of these? I'm not sure it matters. I guess we'll figure out. If, if that is too slow, we can obviously split 
and then add some more of this over here and yada yada etc etc uh let's get our little stars coming up or whatever these sheeps are let's actually fix this belt too this is awful Nope, that's not what I wanted. There we Okay, so we have our colors and we have our shapes coming in. So now we need to figure this out. That is the wrong one. We need the paint. So the paint color is coming in from this side, which makes that kind of easy. But I need to split this a few times. Something like that. Then we can do the painting. So we have three outputs. The first one, just gonna go straight into here. Then we'll do that. Like so. And then, Oh, I can't. Nope, no, no, can't do that. I should be able to do that, though. Okay, I think that'll be fine. So this needs to get split a few times into here. Mm. So like that. that right no mm-hmm there you go And then we need to merge these all together. Let me find something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to do this because I'm kind of like blocking the uh, squares by doing it this way, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll we'll just do that for now. Uh, Optic Ronic is raiding with a party of eight. Welcome. Thank you for the raid, dude. Okay, so it looks like this is our bottleneck right here, so we need to definitely get some more of this happening. So let's put a splitter. Put a splitter over here. Then we need another one of these things. We'll output it from here to here. I'll get belted in.
like so like so I think that's fine. Are we still bottlenecked? I think we might still be bottlenecked though. Is followers only mode on? I believe it is unless one of the mods have turned it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it does look like that is kind of backing up a little bit, at least on that one. It actually looks like we're going to need another extractor here, so let's do that. Which means we should probably do the same thing down here. Press Q on an item on the screen. Does that select the item? Oh, hey, look at that. Okay. Uh, can I middle click that? Can I change that to a middle click? Because that would be super helpful. Which one is... You said Q. Close menu is Q. Pipette is Q. Which one is select item that you're hovering over as Q? Pipette? Middle mouse button. Did that save? Did I... I press escape. Did I miss an alert? Uh, Pearl Legend just reset for 11 months. With Prime, thank you so much, Pearl Legend. Oh, can I middle mouse click this? Oh, dude, that's so much better. Oh, you can do that. You can, if you middle mouse button, or I guess pipette on one of these, it selects the correct item. That's awesome, too. We're learning things. Learning is fun. Uh, I thought we were backing up, and now it doesn't look like we're backing up. I guess we could do another one of these, another uh, color blender thing. Something like that. We'll do another one of these. Should be fine. Mm -hmm. I think we still, I think we still might need more of these extractors. And then if we're doing that on that, we're going to need one down here in green as well. Oh, what did I do? This is wrong.
there. Now we are definitely backing up here. Oh, we got a thing. I didn't even notice this. Mr. Green, the Seiko Killer with a 29 month resub. Welcome back, Mr. Green. Thank you for the 29 months. Appreciate it. Thanks for dropping that prime. So we have cutting, rotating, and stacking. That's pretty cool. Is this the best way to do it? I have no idea, but it is a way to do it and it seems to be working decently. Decently enough. But yeah, that's good. This is all starting to back up a little bit, which means we are providing the die at the maximum input of these machines. I like it. Uh, so how many more of these do we need? Oh, a lot. <laughs> We're going to be waiting here for a minute. It's a bit crowded. Could be cleaner. Your name's a bit crowded. It could be cleaner. Just kidding. Well, now you want to play this game? <laughs> it definitely... It definitely is fun. I wonder, should I? You know what I should? I should, like, put a merge right here, yeah? That way this belt will fill up and have maximum throughput. There we go. I don't even know if we're collecting this for anything, are we? Oh yeah, we are. Yep. Don't want to backseat game too much. I need to learn for myself. I appreciate. I appreciate. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so next thing that we can work on, we have this going, we have that going. We don't have this. I don't think we have a way that we can merge or is it called stacking? I don't think we've unlocked that yet. Uh, purple circles are the next thing we should work on. Cause I think that's the next tier that we need. So purple circles, that's going to be red and blue dye. Purple circle. So we got red dye and we got blue dye here. I'm learning now it's fun to watch a new player when you already know the game. Is it time for faster belts? I can't make belts faster until uh, we do the purple circles. So we do have a spot available here for an input. Okay, so let's get some purple dye making happening. Merge all those together. Okay, and then we need red dye. I'm glad there isn't like power requirements that you gotta deal with. Okay, so we need paint mixers.
Yeah, I guess we're gonna do it this way, then we'll tunnel in the uh, blue dyes. Oh, do you have to do like the input first? Maybe you have to do the input first. And this will just be able to go directly in. All right, so that seems like a pretty straightforward thing. Uh, bottom one that, okay. I guess I didn't need this last splitter, did I? I think we're good. Send in the blue dye. Why merge three and then split them back into three? So I don't have three wide belts coming over here. I have one belt, right? So that way when we have to use one of these tunnel things, we don't have to tunnel over three belts. We can just tunnel over one space. So we need purple circles over here. Well, we got our purple dye figured out now. So then we just need our circle extractors and painters set up. So how do we do the painting on this kind of a thing? Kind of in a wonky way, yeah? So kind of staggered. I think I staggered that the wrong way. Yeah, I'll worry about all that stuff later when later happens. It's fine. Okay, so then one of those. So then we just need circles coming into here and then we should be good to go. Let's see. So circle will come in, then there, then this, here, that, there, yep. Oh, I don't have a way to extract. 
Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, so that's why... I think I did this in a different way before. So then we just put a merger here. Oh no, not a, a tunnel. Uh, crap. Uh, Droiden coming in with a raid of a party of six. Welcome. Thank you for raiding. Man, trying to figure out some of this stuff, like when you haven't done this before, <laughs> it's kind of like, what? So that's still wrong. So I need to merge or I need, I need to split again before I do this tunnel. Yeah, that's wrong. I need to split again before I do that tunnel. Okay, so that takes care of that. Then I have an output here. So I should probably put that in place. Can I do this to here? Perfect. All right, so that's taking care of that. Uh, we need to merge. Then another merge. That's a uh, great boat placement right there. I like that one. Okay, I think that's it. So now we just need to input the circles and then we should be, should be ready to go. All right, we got purple circles. Jackie Matthews with a six month resub. Welcome back, Jackie. Thank you for the six months. So I could also do like another split over here and then bring some more of this purple dye and then do like more of these to expand out further. We just have to expand this so we can provide that amount of dye all the way down. But I think that would be doable. I mean, honestly, it's not going to take that long to get 600, but the problem is then we're going to need a thousand total in order for this upgrade to happen. Um, so there's like totals of different things that you're inputting. So like the purple circles that we're inputting right now are going to the purple circle total. And once we have a certain amount of those, we can unlock an upgrade. It doesn't actually use any of those. So like the more you put in, you just have that amount for later when an upgrade is available, right? Um, so we've put in almost 14,000 squares, even though we don't need squares right now for anything, but another update or another upgrade later on might require us to have, you know, a hundred thousand squares, right? So we're working towards that. Mr. Tanky says, I've been eyeballing this game for a while now. It looks so fun. I mean, so far, it's all right. If you like these factory building games, you'll probably have a good time with it. 
I'm not particularly great at them, but I've played a few of them so far, and I've had fun. It's just, you know, figuring out different things and automations. What's the difference between the demo and the full version? I'm sure if you go to the Steam page, it'll probably tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I get more painters in here, then I need to get more dye. So it's basically every time you want to do more, you have to do more of the other, right? Not that there's anything particularly wrong with that. It's just something that we'll have to do if we want to add more painters. Oh, you get more music with the full version of the game. Oh. Yeah, my painters are the bottleneck. I agree. Mm -hmm. We need to get rid of these things. Pinwheels? I'm not sure what the sheep that is. Uh, in order to get more speed out of our mixers or our painters. Well, I guess we can try and like double this so we can make the purple circles faster. Can I, can I do this? Copy. I need level 12. That's right. Dang it. If you select a machine, it will tell you the top right what the speed of the machine is. Oh. How do I select the machine? The pressing control on it? I'm not seeing what you're talking about. What are you talking down here? Oh, eight items a second right there. I got it. Oh, you can hotkey these things. I didn't even realize that. Oh, so I can just press one for a belt. I, I don't think I can uh, move things around, can I? Middle mouse button. Oh, I guess that's true. Right, 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 right. That would be the same thing as actually clicking down here. I just kind of want to wait for this thing to get the 600 and then I think we are going to uh, put this game down for the day. I didn't really want to do an entire live stream of this, but I did want to check this game out and so far it's fun. It's definitely fun. Mono Designs coming in with a three month resub. Welcome back. Thank you for the three months. MZ, yes, I have done that. Mm hmm. You collect shapes that's not even count, like the quarter circles. Uh, we need the quarter circles for something else. Yeah, we needed these right here, right? So we are still collecting those. Those are still needed. Blueprints are a game changer. I can imagine so. So I can just like copy this and then piece it over here and just put another input belt in. Um, having to like look at what you've already built and then mirror that again is kind of annoying. It's not terrible, but there it is. Level 10 completed. You can now combine shapes with the stacker. Both inputs are combined and if they can be put next to each other, they will be fused. If not, the right input is stacked on top of the left input. Oh, check this out. So you can have a red square with a green circle in it. Oh, and then you can take two halves and like combine them. Well, that's kind of cool. So I have to do that. We have to do green halfies and then blue halfies or teal. Is that the same color we're already inputting? I think that's the same color.
but I need that to go in until we have 3,500 of them. Now it gets a little bit more complicated. <laughs> My game has been saved. All right, let's, uh, let's exit. That was fun. That was cool. Check that out. Uh, we're going to switch over some stuff here.